How to prepare a standard EDTA solution. When converted to a standard solution, EDTA is a useful chemical compound for titration applications, such as determining the metallic content of various solutions. You will need basic chemistry techniques, a balance, four grams of purified dihydrate ethylene diamine tetracetic acid, a desiccator, a one liter volumetric flask, a powder funnel, and one liter of deionized or distilled water. Optional, a non-glass flask stopper. Step one, measure four grams of purified dihydrate ethylene diamine tetracetic acid on the balance and dry at 80 degrees Celsius for one hour before letting it cool to room temperature in the desiccator. The salt will contain about 0.3% moisture after drying and cooling. Make a note to correct the salt's weight in your calculation of the molarity of the finished solution. Step two, weigh 3.8 grams and transfer it into a volumetric flask using a powder funnel. Step three, rinse the funnel by pouring a small amount of distilled or deionized water through it before removing the salt. Then add enough extra purified water to make 700 milliliters. Use a dry, uncontaminated container with a non-glass stopper. Step four, swirl the solution until all of the powder has dissolved. Be patient. It may take up to 15 minutes for the solution to be completely dissolved. Step five, add more purified water until it reaches the one liter mark and mix well. Step six, calculate the molarity or molar concentration of the solution. The result should be at or very close to 0.01 molarity Step seven, store the solution with a stopper. If you plan to use it for titration, it's good practice to conduct the experiment while the solution is still fresh. Did you know EDTA was first used as a medical treatment for heavy metal poisoning in the 1940s and is still FDA approved for that purpose.